The existence of dinosaurs on our planet occurred during the Mesozoic era. The Mesozoic era lasted from 252 to 66 million years ago. The period of dinosaurs, or Mesozoic era, encompasses three main periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. The Triassic period lasted from 252 to 201 million years ago. During this period, the emergence of the first dinosaurs occurs. Many people know about the existence of dinosaurs, but how did dinosaurs come to our planet? Vertebrate animals appeared about 500 million years ago during the Cambrian period. These early creatures, such as primitive fish, inhabited the oceans. About 360 million years ago, in the Devonian period, some fish began to develop limbs that allowed them to walk on land. These first amphibians became the ancestors of all land vertebrates. About 340 million years ago, during the late Carboniferous, amniotes evolved, vertebrates that laid eggs with a protective shell that allowed them to reproduce on land. This included the ancestors of reptiles, birds and mammals. Reptiles divided into two main lineages, synapsids, leading to mammals, and sauropsids, leading to modern reptiles and birds. The sauropsids included groups that later evolved into dinosaurs. The first dinosaurs, such as Eoraptor and Hererosaurus, were small and bipedal. They evolved in a changing ecology and in competition with other reptiles. During the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, dinosaurs became the dominant land animals. They developed a huge variety of shapes and sizes, including giant sauropods, predatory theropods, and feather-covered colurosaurs. Some dinosaurs, especially those in the Maniraptora groups, evolved features that we associate with modern birds, including feathers and lightweight skeletons. This led to the evolution of the first birds, such as Archaeopteryx. Dinosaurs emerged as the result of a long and complex process of vertebrate evolution. They evolved over tens of millions of years, adapting to changing conditions on Earth and became one of the most successful groups of animals in the history of our planet. In addition to the emergence of dinosaurs, the Triassic period saw the splitting of the supercontinent Pangaea. The division of the continent strongly influenced the further development of the planet. The next stage in the evolution of dinosaurs was the Jurassic period. The Jurassic period lasted from 201 to 145 million years ago. It was the heyday of the dinosaurs the division of Pangaea into Laurasia and Gondwana, and the appearance of the first birds. And the final stage of dinosaur development was the Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period lasted from 145 to 66 million years ago. This was the peak of dinosaur evolution, the breakup of Gondwana and Laurasia into the modern continents. During this period, the first flowering plants began to appear. At the end of the Cretaceous era, there is a mass extinction and destruction of dinosaurs, with the exception of the ancestors of modern birds. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, the Cenozoic era begins and continues to the present day. Intracontinental rift systems were formed in the late Permian and Triassic. Rift systems are large tectonic faults in the Earth's crust, many hundreds or more than a thousand kilometers long, and usually tens of kilometers wide. Rift systems developed into the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, which contributed to the partitioning of Laurasia and Gondwana into separate territories. Between 135 and 200 million years ago, Laurasia split into Eurasia and North America. Gondwana divided into Africa, South America, Antarctica, Australia, New Zealand, as well as Arabia, Madagascar and Hindustan, whose collision with the Asian continental plate caused intense mountain formation with the rise of the Himalayan mountains. At the beginning of the Mesozoic era, Africa was still part of the supercontinent Pangaea and shared a relatively common fauna with it, dominated by theropods, prosauropods, and primitive Ornithischians dinosaurs. Throughout the Jurassic period, iconic dinosaur groups such as sauropods and ornithopods increasingly spread across Africa. In the mid-Mesozoic, about 150 to 160 million years ago, Madagascar separated from Africa while remaining connected to India and the rest of Gondwana. Abelisaurus and Titanosaurus have been found among the fossils of Madagascar. During the early Cretaceous, 
the landmass of India and Madagascar separated from Gondwana. In the late Cretaceous, India and Madagascar began to diverge, continuing until they reached their present-day shape. Unlike Madagascar, the African mainland was tectonically relatively stable throughout the Mesozoic. However, despite its stability, significant changes occurred in its position relative to the other continents as Pangaea continued to break apart. By the beginning of the late Cretaceous, South America had separated from Africa, thus completing the formation of the Atlantic Ocean at its southern end. This event had a profound effect on global climate by altering ocean currents. The Mesozoic era was the warmest period in Earth's history. For 180 million years, there was no stable ice cover even in the circumpolar regions. At the end of the Triassic period, about 231 million years ago, it rained on the supercontinent Pangaea and didn't stop for about two million years. In the Jurassic period, the Earth was inhabited by small, compared to dinosaurs, wool-covered, warm-blooded animals, descendants of synapsids, mammals. They live next to dinosaurs and are almost invisible against their background. The Jurassic period saw the division of mammals into monotremes, marsupials and placentals. Numerous turtles could be found in lakes and rivers. Dinosaurs were the dominant group on land. The range of differences between them is so great that kinship between their species is difficult to establish. Dinosaurs ranging in size from a cat to a whale have been encountered. Different kinds of dinosaurs could move on two or four limbs. Among them were both predators and herbivores. Of the latter, the Jurassic period saw the heyday of sauropods, Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Camarasaurus. Sauropods were hunted by large theropods. There were no mammals in the seas, and the niche of large predators was occupied by reptiles with a comparable level of metabolism ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, and mosasaurs, sometimes reaching 20 meters in length. In the Cretaceous period, the development of reptiles continues. They reach enormous sizes. The mass of some of the dinosaurs reached 50 tons. At the end of the Cretaceous period, colder temperatures set in. The area of near-water vegetation decreases. Many forms of invertebrates and warm-blooded marine lizards, whose ecological niches are similar to those of today's toothed whales, are becoming extinct in the seas. Birds are believed by most paleontologists to have descended from one of the groups of dinosaurs or closely related archosaurs. The end of the Cretaceous period saw the most famous and very large extinction of many groups of plants and animals. Many holodemal plants, aquatic reptiles, pterosaurs, and all dinosaurs became extinct, but the birds that descended from them survived. Ammonites, many brachiopods, and virtually all belemnites disappeared. In the surviving groups, from 30 to 50% of species became extinct. The causes of the Cretaceous catastrophe are not fully understood. One of the reasons for the extinction of many groups of plants and animals is due to an asteroid hitting the Earth's surface. The crater was formed 66 million years ago as a result of an asteroid impact with a diameter of about 10 kilometers. The energy of the impact is estimated at 100 teratons in trinitrotoluene equivalent. By comparison, the largest thermonuclear device had a power of more than 58 megatons, which is about 2 million times less. The asteroid impact created a crater about 200 kilometers in diameter and up to 20 kilometers deep, located on the Yucatan Peninsula and included in the list of the largest craters on Earth. The Yucatan is a peninsula in Central America, separating the Gulf of Mexico from the Caribbean Sea. The soil ejection earthquake and tsunami resulting from the meteorite, impact caused one of the largest mass extinctions in the Earth's biosphere. The high temperature shock wave that passed over the Earth's surface and the backward fall of the ejected rocks into near space to heights of more than 100 kilometers, landing thousands of kilometers from the impact site, caused forest fires around the world that released large amounts of soot and carbon monoxide into the atmosphere. 
the lifted dust and soot particles caused climate changes similar to nuclear winter. So the Earth's surface was closed from direct sunlight for several years by a dust cloud. The temperature on the continents dropped by 28 degrees, in the oceans by 11 degrees. The asteroid impact was supposed to cause a tsunami 50 to 100 meters high. In the history of life on Earth, the mass extinction of species 66 million years ago marked the beginning of the Cenozoic era, which continues today. As a result of the catastrophic events of those distant times, all animals larger than a crocodile disappeared from the face of our planet. And the surviving small animals found themselves with the dawn of a new era in a completely different world. In the Cenozoic, the continents continued to diverge. Separate communities of plants and animals formed on each of them. The Cenozoic era was marked by the appearance of the first intelligent life on Earth, man the intelligent. <laughs>